good morning. Thank you, Governor Tomlin. I really appreciate the welcome. Um, on behalf of the uh, board and the employees of Siam Precision, uh, I just want to say I'm honored to represent them in announcing in, here in West Virginia. We're uh, really excited about this project. When Jay and I started this project three years ago for a road map to a U.S. factory, to be honest with you, West Virginia wasn't even on the map. And uh, when I stopped by the booth in Washington, uh, we really were impressed and we reopened our decision making process and through a series of uh, meetings with local business leaders arranged by the development office um, and local economic develop officers uh, over the last six months or so we've really found out that West Virginia is an international place to set up your company. It's, it's set up and, and well run. Um, so uh, I, I want to thank some people for that. Uh, of course, the governor, uh, Senator Rockefeller. I mean, he, he was the first man I talked to in Washington and um, wow, that was great. Um, Keith Burdett and his Office of Development Organization uh, really did a great job uh, providing the information we needed and, and letting us know all the incentives of the state and the, uh, the the condition of the state, which is is very favorable, taxes going down, surplus infrastructure, and most importantly, a really good workforce readily available for uh, the type of work we do, which is precision manufacturing. Um, so that, I, I, the state really <laughs> really did a good job. They had a good story to tell, and they did a great job telling it. And uh, I'll tell you, one of the most impressive things about West Virginia is the international investments that are coming in. Um, congratulations on Correa. I, I read that the other day. That's a, that's a huge coup for uh, West Virginia. And it validates everything I've been seeing, which is this state is, is way ahead of the curve when it comes to uh, creating incentives for U.S. and foreign companies to invest here. So. Um, Good job on that one. Um, regarding our business setup, uh, this is going to be a two-year project totaling uh, roughly six million dollars. And uh, our first facility is scheduled to open January 1 of, of 2012. Um, I have two Thai partners, engineers, coming in in two weeks to finalize the first facility design, clean room setup, and we will begin purchasing equipment in the U.S. to run in the U.S. Uh, slated for January 1. Um, our hiring process will be to identify a few key employees and send them to Asia for a few months of training as our technology is uh, kind of unique. And they will come back and, and we'll begin hiring more people early next year. Um, so that we're, we're, we're getting ready to go here. Um, Siam Precision is a precision converting company, and what that means is we buy specialty adhesives and liners and materials, and we stack them up to, in configurations for uh, medical devices, solar energy panels. Um, our, our vendors are, are like DuPont and 3M. We, we, we have a high-tech vendor base and a customer base. Um, our phase two operation will be a 20,000 square foot clean room facility in Charleston uh, area and a 10,000 square foot machine shop with precision tools uh, capabilities. That we are scheduled to open in January of uh, 13, 013. So um, our, our ultimate employment goal will be 25 skilled positions by the end of 2012, trained in our technology, machine shop operators and process engineers, um, and, and high, highly skilled technicians. So we will do all our hiring in West Virginia, and we will work with the workforce West Virginia to identify the, 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 the hires. Uh, they've done a great job providing resumes already. Um, I can't emphasize enough how uh, helpful the state has been 
in, in getting this thing going. Um, and uh, um, I, I got to tell you, I'm going to, the next three months, I'm going to have engineers from the UK and Thailand here. And then I'm going to have customers from Thailand, Malaysia, Japan, Philippines, uh, Massachusetts, California, and I can't think of a better stage to bring them to than West Virginia. So uh, we're very excited, and I want to thank you all. So. so. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we are um, you know, truly thankful that uh, of all the places that you could have uh, chosen to put your first North America facility in, that you chose West Virginia, and I think that speaks well for our development office. I think it speaks well for the state of West Virginia. So once again, thank you for uh, choosing West Virginia, and I, we know that we'll have a great partnership here. Thank you all very much for coming today.